guys, <laughs> you guys ready for this one? It's gonna be a little different than the other videos I've made. Um, I'm excited. Watch this clip. This is, today is Thursday. This is from Monday when I was making the last video. Watch this. Oh, I can't do this. It feels like I can't. I don't know, like, how do I talk into a camera and I just say the same things over and over and... Oh, man, this is tough. This is really tough. Oh, it's so strange watching yourself struggle. Like, I just want to reach through the computer and give that person a hug and that person is me. <laughs> hmm. I created this channel to be transparent with you guys, to show you guys the ins and outs of, of creating a blog and growing a blog and monetizing a blog. Um, and this is part of it. This is the real part of it. And I want to say that this is not the hardest thing in the world. Right now, coronavirus and COVID-19 and everything that's happening in the world, there are a lot of other struggles out there and really hard things. Putting a camera in front of my face or writing a blog post is not the hardest thing in the world. And I, I, I get that. But the feelings are also very real. And um, I don't know, I, like I said, started this channel to show you guys that side. I guess I want to show you this video, this video that I, that I showed you um, of, of Monday, and also make this video to show you two things. One, um, don't give up guys. I'm going to talk more about this, but if this passion project or side hustle or new YouTube adventure or blogging feels like it's what you're supposed to be doing, like keep going after it and figuring things out because it is so, so easy to quit. And the second thing is I wanted to make this video to let you know that you're not alone. I met some amazing people and had amazing experiences and you guys, like the community that I've built and you guys are incredible. But like sometimes, you know, when I break it down and sit down, I'm like, what am I doing and where am I going? It can be a lot. And I don't know, I just wanted to create this video to, like, to let you know that you're not alone. There are good days and there are not so good days. Um, there are days when I wake up and I'm like, let's do this. Like, let's get things done. I know exactly what I'm gonna say. I know exactly what I'm gonna write. I'm ready to be in front of the camera. I'm ready to like let my thoughts go and just like roll it out into the world and like make this happen. And then there are days where, and sometimes like weeks and like, these long, like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Sorry, but I mean, it, it's true. It's like, what stuff? Like, you are not creating anything, but I have to do this. Like, I want to make this work. It is no secret that I want to continue to grow and monetize my blog and my YouTube channel. You guys know this. I left my nine to five job and I don't want to go back um, and there is nothing wrong with having a nine-to-five job that is not what I'm saying but I'm just saying for my lifestyle and for Scott and I like the idea of passive income and entrepreneurship and different income streams like fascinates me and I want to do that through blogging and helping you guys start and grow your own blogs but it is not always easy and it does not happen quickly when I watch this video clip I'm reminded of this moment, this really defining moment. I can get so emotional about this stuff because I, I don't know, I, I'm so passionate about it. So I'm reminded of this moment when I was getting into blogging and looking at it and, and trying new things and I started each day slow. I actually started it as Steph Castelline um, a year and a half ago, but before that like I dabbled in blogging. I've dabbled in blogging and YouTube for four years before that because I didn't have a plan. I didn't plan on turning it into anything and I didn't know where I wanted to go with it. I literally just wanted a place to have my thoughts. But you know, as I did that and enjoyed it more and was creating this community, like I'm like, whoa, people would get paid for to do this and how can I make that happen? So even though I just started my blog a year and a half ago, like I had been looking into it and it was just a, a constant thought for like the past three-ish years. 
Um, but anyway, I was reading this blog post by Erin Outdoors. She's this gal who at the time was traveling and blogging and taking photos and like living this lifestyle that I really wanted to live. Like I wanted to do that. You know, when you see someone living this lifestyle that really intrigues you and you're willing to do whatever it takes to make that happen, you want to follow like their route. Like tell me everything you know, how can I get there, get rich quick, um, make things happen, do it now, do it now, do it now. And I was reading her this one blog post, I was actually reading like all of her blog posts, but one of them said, the only difference between you and me is three years. And it went on to discuss how when she first started out, you know, she was taking photos and getting gigs and like reaching out to people and hustling and like trying to figure out all of the things. Then the next year, you know, she got more gigs and she tried more and she bought more equipment and just kept growing and growing. And then the third year, you know, she was living this lifestyle and doing these things. But it took three years. A theme throughout that blog post said that she didn't know what she was doing. Like she didn't have every single step laid out for her and every the plan like super clear, like do this for three years and you'll be successful. It was, you know, her literally taking a step forward each and every day and figuring things out and like learning through action. And for me, that was like, like light bulb turned on of, wow, where, was I three years ago and where am I now? And if I had started my blog, instead of just sitting on it and thinking like, I'll do that, I'll, I'll dive in when I have it all figured out. If I would have just started my blog three years ago, kept with it and stuck with it and kept writing and growing, like who knows where I could be, you know, three years like now. And then if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I share these little quote cards every morning. Actually, here, let me, let me grab one. Okay, I share these quote cards every morning. I just pull them out and, and share them on my Instagram stories. And one of them um, that hit me around this time when I, was, when I was reading that three year idea was, it said, a year from now, you'll wish you had started today. I was like, man. Yes, uh, it's so true. Like what's that thing that you've been thinking about starting or maybe it's a blog because that's what obviously I'm talking about but it could be like photography or baking or doing work at home workouts or I mean it, it could be anything guys. But imagine if you had started a year ago. Like where would you be today? <sighs> and I guess like watching this video and making this video specifically, that's like, I have to keep going because I want to build this thing. In three years from today, I don't want to look back and regret that I didn't stick with this and I didn't like go all in and figure it out. I just know that those days that you feel like quitting, don't. I do believe that sometimes you have to abandon an idea and pivot and change and like, if you're going into debt and things still aren't working, like maybe you have to, maybe you have to make a change. But I also know, and from experience, that it is so easy to quit, especially when you're not seeing results or probably more importantly, when you don't know where you're going. That's been a big shift and realization for me. It's like all the times that I've quit or had to try again or am feeling really down, it's because I don't have a vision for where I'm going. And it's so easy to like sit here and be like, don't give up, keep going, you can do this. But it's so true. If you believe in what you're doing and sharing and that it can help people, even though you're not quite there yet, even though you have work left to do, don't give up on that. When you see people doing it better than you and people with more followers and people who are making eight, 10, 20 grand a month, like you are doing something special. And even if you just reach one person, that's all that matters. This, this is sounding so dramatic, but I get so passionate about this because I've needed to hear it so much too. Like I have been through this. You can, you can ask Scott. Like sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I'm done. This isn't working. I don't know what I'm doing. No one cares. No one's reading this. Like I could literally stop tomorrow and no one would care. And it's like, no, what I'm doing is creating value for people. Like I am helping them and hopefully inspiring them to start a blog, hopefully inspiring you to start a blog and just creating this different kind of lifestyle. And I want to inspire and like 
educate you on how to do that. So I know even on the days that I don't believe it, like this work is not fruitless and it's for, not for nothing. Like I am, I am building something here, even though it's not quite where I want it to be yet. And I talked about it a little bit before, but again, I know that when I wake up and I, or for months, <laughs> have no idea what I'm doing, it's because I don't have a vision or a clear plan for my blog, for my YouTube, how I want to grow it. I touched on this a little bit before, and but I'm hoping that it will help you because I don't have the answer, guys. I don't think that there's a five-step process or three goals to set. I mean, all that is a part of it, but it has really helped to narrow what I'm doing down, to define what I want my YouTube channel to be and what I want the blog to be and how I'm going to grow it and monetize it now as opposed to five to 10 years from now. I think that we should have long-term goals and like see what we want for the longevity for the future, but I don't want to be making uh, an income that supports us in 10 years. Like I want to be making that now. Well, in, in, you know, in the next six months. So what does that look like? How can I actually get there without all the noise, without doing all the things? How can I get there by doing one, two or three things really, really well? So narrow in and define what you want, but also just be honest with yourself. If you are starting a blogger, honestly, any side gig for that matter as a total hobby, like that's great. But if your expectation is to make money or to grow and you're not doing that, it can be really disappointing and discouraging and really easy to quit. And I just don't want that to happen to you guys because it's happened to me multiple times. It's happened to me multiple times where I'm like, yeah, I'll just see what happens. And I have all these awesome ideas and I want to do all the things, but then it goes nowhere. And then I just get discouraged and quit where really, if I had a plan and was honest with myself, like I want to turn this into something, I probably could have turned it into something but it's so much easier to quit than to be honest and define what you wanna do and then like do what it takes to make that happen. And honestly, at the end of the day, you have to decide. It can't be Scott, I, I guess I'm talking to myself here, but it, it can't be a significant other. It can't be your parents or a best friend or a coworker. All those people are great support systems and encouragement, but honestly, it comes down to you and being willing to push through and figure things out and and niche down and and narrow in and focus like monday i did not want to film that video like i was not in the mood and sometimes you're just not in the mood and you have to wait for the next day but i wanted that video out tuesday so if i wanted that video to be done i had to film it monday and it is now my stubborn goal to like put videos out twice a week and if I wanna make that happen, I have to record, sometimes even when I don't feel like it. It can be difficult, it can be, I mean, you saw, it can be painful. And it still is up to me to decide to like, you know what, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make it happen no matter how painful it is. And one thing that continues to keep me going is just knowing that someone, somewhere out there needs to hear what I'm saying. It might not be, saving any lives or the most urgent thing in the world. But even my last video, it does not have very many views, guys. And I had one person write to me and ask me specific questions about the video and what I'm doing and like, thanks for sharing that and thanks for informing them. And I mean, that's why you're doing what you're doing, right? To make an impact on one life and hopefully others as well. But if you make a difference for just one person, like, you guys have done something great. I make these videos because yes, I am trying to grow my YouTube and my blog, but more importantly, I want to inspire and help others. I don't know. That's something that I think about often, every day, every single day, actually. Every every time I go to create something. I don't know, I, um, I just don't want you to give up. And, and I say this because I know I need to hear it continually and I've needed to hear it as well. Um, and I also know that everyone's circumstances are different, that timing is different, that you guys are going through something that I'm not going through and difficulties and, and money. I mean, there's just so many other factors other than like, keep going, don't give up. You got this, you can do it. Show up every day, woo! You know, no, like I say this from a place of look at where you want to be in one year. Look at where you want to be in one year. and. What can you do today and tomorrow and the next day? 365 days to get there. That's where, that's where this comes from.
it's so easy after just a few days or a few weeks to just give up. Um, but I just encourage you to stick with it. And I think you'll be so surprised and like happy with how far you've come in one year. Probably, most importantly, I want you to know that I'm cheering you on. Like, I, I legit am cheering each and every single one of you guys on. So, you can do this. We're in this together. It's so easy to say, so much harder to do. Um, but, yeah, I think you can do it. I want you to do it. I want you to know that you can do it. Wow, that was, um... <laughs> So thanks for listening to that. Um, definitely outside my comfort zone just sitting here and talking, but I felt like it was really important because that's kind of what I've been struggling with this past month. No matter what stage of the journey you're, you're in, you're gonna run into these roadblocks and oftentimes it's, it's yourself holding you up. So I just wanted to make this video to encourage you and um, tell you to keep going and, and don't give up. I just so appreciate you being here today and uh, <laughs> This sounds so dramatic, but um, I don't know, it's very real. And I've been through it many times before, and I just wanted to let you know that you're not alone. So, I don't really know how to end this. <laughs> um, I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, but yeah, cheering you guys on. All right, see ya. <laughs>